Instagram influencer turned anti-abortion extremist turned congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna might be the only thing Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis can agree on. So who is she? After growing up on welfare with a father who was in and out of jail, Luna joined the Air Force to fund her education. Now, there are various points of contention surrounding Luna's past. An expose in the Washington Post claims Luna may have fabricated much of her childhood, George Santos style. A family member of Luna's told the Post, quote, she had everything, what she needed and more. According to WAPO, two former friends told the outlet that when Luna served as an airfield operation manager, she wore designer clothes and spoke about having nannies as a kid. Although it's worth noting, Luna has fiercely denied these allegations. The fact is, is that we have these receipts. My attorney's already issued a letter of cor correction. After returning home from the military, Luna, as time notes, worked, quote, as a cocktail waitress at a gentleman's club and as a swimsuit model for Maxim Magazine and Sports Illustrated. She also appeared on Liberty Bells, a website that spotlights women in camouflage bikinis holding guns. It's unclear where the conservatives, who attacked AOC for working as a bartender, stand on Luna's cocktail waitressing. I have a feeling they don't mind, given Luna has more followers across all social media platforms than any other rising GOP star. Like Time Mag points out, unlike MTG and AOC, who have parlayed their status in government into a giant social media following, Luna's path was the opposite. She gained a following on social media first, catching the attention of Turning Point USA founder and a man totally fine with indoctrinating the youth so long as it's through a far-right lens, Charlie Kirk. Kirk loved what Luna was spitting out, so he hired her to be Turning Point USA's director of Hispanic engagement, which is where she really took off. I remember my turning point, no pun intended. While her jokes didn't land, endorsements from Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis did, following her announcement to run for a U.S. House seat. Luna currently represents Florida's 13th Congressional District in the U.S. House, which is where she's attempted to make life miserable for one man, the Democratic representative from California, Adam Schiff. Luna led the charge in censoring Schiff for his role in the investigations into the Trump campaign's alleged ties with Russia. Luna claims Schiff lied to the American people, and, you know, if the Post is right, who would know better than her to spot one? The House agreed with Luna, and it voted to censor the congressman, but that hasn't really been a bad thing for him. Schiff raised a record-breaking second-quarter campaign finance haul of $8.1 million as he looks to secure a Senate seat. Aside from all that, here are some other fun things about Luna. She's called herself a pro-life extremist. She wears the mass shooter's weapon of choice as a lapel, and she sued Twitter in 2020 because they wouldn't verify her. At the time, she wasn't working in government. Of course, she's verified now that Twitter gives you the great opportunity to pay a billionaire $8 a month. Luna will be up for re-election next year as she looks to lead a right-wing revolution.